All right, guys. Here we have the Factor Absolute. This is the compact version. As you can see, it's not very big. It is M390. This was sent to me by Mike Galt. This is the second time that he has loaned me this knife. The first time, I... I don't remember what happened. I never ended up doing a video on it. I sent it back to Mike. I don't know what happened to the results for it, but I did go ahead and did go ahead and cut with this. I cut with it probably um, over a month ago, and I just recently validated it to make sure the numbers were right. And we're going to go ahead and watch the cutting, and then we'll come back and talk about how it did. Alright guys, now that you saw the cutting, let's go ahead and talk about it. Like I said, I've had this knife multiple times. That choil could definitely use to be extended now. It's been sharpened plenty of times. I know from the first time having it, I put enough edges on it that it wasn't something I worried about this time. So I went ahead and sharpened it up like always, dropped it like always. Even after all those sharpenings, it's not super thin anymore, but it's also still better than most Spydercos and stuff like that. Not by much, but y you get the idea. So what did it do? For the first test, it did... 138 feet fine edge and 227 feet working edge yeah keep that in mind I believe the regular price on this was a hundred dollars and they had a 20% off coupon a lot of times and Mike paid eighty dollars for this M390 knife. 
went ahead and sharpened it again. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Since I had already tested it, I did go ahead and send it to Kurt after the first test that I just gave you guys the results for. So when it came back, I went ahead and ran it again. And to verify the first test, the second test, it did 141 feet fine edge and 229 feet working edge. Now this is made by Tuya Knife for Factor. I don't know if they always, you know, the we all know they recalled some of their M390 because it was well under what they advertised and they replaced blades and knives this came out at 61 HRC. Now, this isn't quite the performance that we've seen from a couple of knives that were 61 HRC. However, in the scope of M390, this did better than most. Yeah, it's kind of crazy saying that that uh you know 138 feet fine edge 227 working edge and 141 and 229 is better than most but this this did better than most i didn't count how many but i'm pretty sure this would fall somewhere within the top 10 performances of m390 we've seen so far and even if you paid full price, it was a hundred bucks. It's a little smaller than I like. I can almost get four fingers on it. I know the bigger version isn't much bigger than a Delica, so I'm not sure how much how much difference I would actually notice in it. And Mike did anodize this. The first time I got it, it was the regular titanium color, the clip and the knife. You can see he he used it, and the way it was packed in a box, it had come loose when he sent it to me, so I'm sure he'll probably anodize it again. Either way, solid performance from a knife that, that you could get for under a hundred bucks if you got it during the sale this was one I am selling a lot of Mike's knives he was gonna sell this when I told him I'm sending it back to him I know he likes this the action on it's pretty good and it actually performs so that's all I have for this Factor Absolute, M390. As always, I appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.